Welcome back. We are here on Ether looking at the cryptocurrency market. And this is going to be my daily forecast for Wednesday, January 20th, 2021. If you like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to join us over at Patreon, where you can get access to our full technical analysis, our signal servers, and also our online trades and courses. The link is down below. You're very welcome to join. So we'll start by looking at Bitcoin. And as you can see, Bitcoin has kind of slowed down a little bit. And uh, yesterday I tried to make my prediction uh, analysis for this, that we're basically um, heading into this corner and we are going to see a breakdown either to the downside or to, to the upside. If you look at the technical indicators, they are fairly mixed at this point, but I would say that we it does favor the upside. We also have... The 20 exponential moving average right underneath here and the 20 exponential has been major support in the last um, the, well basically the last two weeks we have tested it several times and every single time we have broken below we have rallied above and basically stopped above so there's no instance here where we have been trading underneath the 20 exponential moving average and uh, that is very, a very good sign that's a very bullish sign but today we have this inverted hammer here, so, and that usually is not a very good sign. So we may see some choppiness tomorrow, and um, give or take, if we start if we break above here and start trading above, that basically means that we're heading towards 40. And if we break below here, then we have gone to test the 20 exponential, and if that breaks, we'll head all the way down to 30,000. It that would make sense. I actually expect. I wouldn't be surprised if this went all the way to 20,000, but 30,000 is also possible. So the reason why I say say 20,000 is because that was the previous lows here. And as you can see, we are just parabolical here in the weekly chart. If you look at the, the Bollinger Band, we can see how far we went outside of the Bollinger Band. And usually that means that we pull back towards um, the 20 exponential or significantly lower than this. Um, going all the way to 20, that is um, pushing it at this point as we will basically break below the 20 exponential and head towards the simple moving average here in the middle of the Bollinger Band. So that is that is probably off the table. But with 30,000, I would not be surprised if we went down towards that level. Uh, we have tested it once before. That was basically last week. We went all the way down here. We dropped roughly 20% when we went uh, from uh, around uh, 39,000 or 40,000 all the way down to to uh, to 30,000. But at this point, uh, we are going to see a break to the upside or to the downside. And as the 20 exponential on the daily chart has been very, very uh, supportive i am betting on that we're heading towards uh, forty thousand. so let's look at ether so we had a massive move today we were up roughly 10 12 percent and then broke down again and uh, stopped here at these previous highs are roughly at the 1369 so at this point we are getting oversold in the daily chart Technical indicators are very, looking very bullish and just becoming more bullish. Um, we broke above these previous highs. We did not get to the all the way to the top of the bullish band, but we got close and then pulled back. Uh, at this point, we may go significantly higher. The last time that we had a rally, we went all way outside of the bullish bullish band for a very very long time. So predictions for long-term predictions for for this cryptocurrency are technically off the chart um i saw analysis where, where they thought this was going to go to fifty thousand. um that's basically 50x from now and that is just uh, a fair sounds like a ridiculous number but but it also sounded a ridiculous number for for bitcoin like 12 years ago but look at it now so so even though these things may go very parabolic, they are far more stable now than they were back in the past. 
and the 20 exponential has also proven to be significant risk uh, support here so a break towards the 20 exponential that is basically a buy-in at this point but this is very very volatile at this point i would not buy into this i do not like uh, buying things when they are basically um, at the edges i like to buy them when they are basically broken down and are close to support so this has to break down towards the 20 um, exponential before i basically enter for a buy and to do a sell at this point that is just that is just ludicrous the best thing is to do is just wait for the pullbacks and then buy as we are basically in an uptrend and everything that it has a name of cryptocurrency is um, considered to be a very very bullish at this stage so let's look at xrp So we did try to rally today. We went above and down 200 moving average and the 20 exponential moving average uh, all the way almost to the top of the Bollinger Band and then broke down below the 20, uh, 200 moving average yet again. Technical indicators for XRP are looking more promising. You can see the RSI here is looking very bullish and Stochastic has broken the signal line and the RSI is also looking more bullish. But we need to break the 50 moving average. We need to basically go on to an uptrend before we can say that we are going to trend higher. At this moment, we're just going back and forwards, basically trading sideways. So until that happens, I have no interest in basically buying into this whatsoever. So let's look at Litcoin. So... We rallied quite significantly today, uh, similar to to uh, to um, Ethereum. Both Litecoin and Ethereum have been outperforming um, outperforming Bitcoin the last uh, last uh, days, and uh, that is very very interesting. There is quite a lot of room to the upside in this cryptocurrency. We see that the, the Bollinger Band is way up here at 177, and we are trading at the uh, 100 and roughly uh, 55 at this point uh, rsi is only at 59 technical other technical indicators are turning around so it's very likely that we're heading towards the top of this uh, bollinger band at 177 at this current stage 20 exponential moving average that is expected to be massive support or this area around the 20 exponential moving average if we break down for example towards the 50 moving average we didn't even get close to the 50 moving average that is a definitely a buy-in so it is still possible to enter here. It is. It can be very volatile, plus minus a four, a three, four percent. That is very uh, common for this cryptocurrency, or has been for the last two to three days. So at this moment, break below, break down towards the twenty exponential. That's definitely a buy. -in. A break towards the fifty. That is absolutely probably your best entry for this cryptocurrency, with a target of roughly one hundred and seventy-seven. So let's look at NEO. So NEO had a really interesting weekend where on Sunday it rallied roughly all the way up to 17% while the other cryptocurrency were basically breaking down. So today we had a pullback, which was very expected. Uh, it is also expected to go all the way down to $25 uh, dollars because of this massive rally. So um, that is that is to be expected we are overbought technical indicators are showing to be turning around if you go to the four hour chart it should be a more um convenient where we are technically going the momentum is to the downside in the four hour chart but it does not mean that we're going to break down um if the 20 exponential holds that's roughly here 25 uh, 50 or the simple um 20 uh, moving average that's roughly at 25 that is most likely where we'll see buyers come back in that's also the previous highs over here and so there should be a, quite a lot of support around this area so keep around, keep an eye out for the four hour chart it will basically say whether or not this is going to be a support area and you are going to see the same thing happening here that will fall down towards uh, 25 roughly give or take and then continue this rally so just keep in mind we are overbought this should could fall as you know it should fall but could fall significantly lower if you look at the fibonacci retracement for example 
The first Fibonacci retracement is here at 22. The second one is right here at the simple 20 moving average at roughly at the 20.34. And uh, that is, could be, we have been on this parabolical move to the upside uh, the last three weeks. So a pullback towards this area here, that is probably the best entry point that you will get for this cryptocurrency. So, hope you found this helpful. You're welcome to support our channel by subscribing. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to join us over Patreon. The link is down below. Good luck and thank you very much.